Welcome to the Digium D80 IP Phone Training Series Interface Overview Video. This video will demonstrate your phone's user interface. Your phone can be used with its handset, the speakerphone, or with a separate headset. The handset and headset connections are located on the back of the phone. There is no need to use a handset lifter as the D80 supports EHS enabled headsets for seamless operation. The phone's loudspeaker for hands-free speakerphone operation is found underneath the handset. You do not need to remove the handset in order to use the speakerphone. In the upper right corner of the phone is the message waiting indicator light. A flashing green light indicates that you are receiving a call. A solid green light indicates that you are currently on a call. A flashing red light indicates that you have unread voicemail messages. A flashing amber light indicates that someone is leaving you a voicemail. If enabled, this is when you may screen the voicemail message. The D80 features a 7-inch high-definition backlit touchscreen to display activity on the phone. This D80 is showing the home screen. The home screen features the status bar on top and the toolbar at the bottom. The home screen features Digium's default background image. With SwitchFox, you have the option to add your own custom background image through your web user portal. During an active call, the screen displays call status, the caller name and number, and the call duration time. Incoming calls, connected calls, and calls on hold all display similarly, but it is easy to see through the adaptive call cards just what your options are. On the top of the home screen, the status bar displays the navigation drawer icon on the left, the date and time in the center, and the phone user's presence on the right. The toolbar is located on the bottom of the screen and will remain visible unless an on-screen keyboard is shown. The toolbar provides touch buttons for mute, speaker, and headset. These buttons will highlight when they are active or in use. The volume buttons are located in the center of the toolbar. While on a call, the volume buttons can be used to adjust the sound to better hear the caller. When not on a call, these buttons can be used to adjust the volume of the phone's ringer. The right side of the toolbar provides touch buttons for home, keypad access, and favorites. Tapping the home button returns you to your home screen. Tapping the keypad button displays a standard 10-digit numeric keypad with alphabet lettering. You may also access the keypad by lifting the receiver from the cradle or pressing the speakerphone or headset icons. Pressing the Favorites button gives you access to the full-screen Favorites app. The Favorites app displays helpful information, including their photo, their extension, their presence, and their on-call status, as well as additional phone numbers if available. From the Favorites app, a tap will immediately start a new call to that favorite. A long press will show a Favorites contact details screen. The contact details screen displays the same information as the favorite screen with extended contact details, presence information, and additional phone numbers, as well as calling options such as monitor, intercom, voicemail, and dial, depending on the permissions that have been set in SwitchFox. Favorites are also accessible in a drawer by swiping from the right edge of the screen to the left. This shows a single row of contacts that you may swipe from the bottom of the screen to the top to show more. To close the favorites drawer, simply tap another part of the screen or swipe the drawer closed from left to right. There are two methods to access the navigation drawer. Swipe right from the left edge of the screen to access the navigation drawer, or you may press the menu icon. The navigation drawer displays your line information, your presence with extended status message, and your available applications, including call logs, contacts, parked calls, and voicemail. From here, you also have access to display settings, sound settings, call answering, text support, and advanced settings. Your phone's PBX address, version, IP address, and MAC address are available at the bottom of the navigation drawer. To exit the navigation drawer and return home, simply swipe from right to left, or you may press the menu icon. While you are on a call, a call card will display your calling options 
such as placing the caller on hold, conferencing in another party, transferring the call, placing the call into park, recording the call, or ending it. To see your contacts, open the navigation drawer and choose Contacts. Here, you can scroll through the list to find your contact, or you can use the search function by tapping the search button and entering an extension or name into the on-screen keyboard. Within the Contacts application, tapping on the blue number will immediately dial the contact. Tapping anywhere else on the contact's name will bring up their contact details. On the D80, notifications such as missed calls, new voicemail messages, voicemail screening, parked call information, and more appear on the home screen. Notifications are interactive. Tapping on the button in each notification will bring you to the notifications action. For example, to listen to an unread voicemail from its notification, simply tap the voicemail icon. To clear a notification, swipe it away from left to right. Thank you for watching the Digium D80 IP Phone Training Series Interface Overview Video.